Today we take a look at the rapidly advancing world of artificial intelligence or AI as it is commonly called. Now humankind has created quantum leaps in technology throughout the history of our species. First came the ability to create and control fire and the making of tools, then the crafting of the wheel, gunpowder, internal combustion engines, flight, computers, antibiotics, nuclear technology, space flight, the internet, mobile phones and smartphones. The list of quantum leaps is long. Each of these had a profound impact on the evolution of our species. The latest quantum leap is artificial intelligence, which burst into the public domain last November with ChatGPT, closely followed by Bard, Bing, Jasper, Uchat, Socratic, and many more. Now we knew that true AI was coming after having already experienced Google Assistant, Siri, Alexa, and many other less advanced AI platforms, most commonly in our smartphones and laptops. But what makes this quantum leap different to those throughout history is the rate at which AI is developing. The fourth version from OpenAI, ChatGPT4, has already arrived and is in full use. Now already, AI chatbots can carry out many tasks better than humans. Ask any AI chatbot to write a poem, compose a melody, or write an email, essay, or academic assignment. The results will amaze you. In the near future, it's quite likely that you will see your TV news curated by AI with advanced graphics, information, maps, and photos. But this is causing much alarm around the world as well. Quite simply, not only is AI able to do tasks faster, but it's also better at many tasks than we humans are. Many people in various professions are nervous that they will lose their jobs to AI-generated avatars, including journalists, academics, and, ironically, software programmers as well. IBM announced this week that it expects 7,800 of its 288,000 strong global force to be replaced by AI. The uncertainty over the uncontrolled advancement of AI by companies whose sole aim is to make profits has meant that AI is so far unregulated. Now, Italy has actually tried to ban AI but hasn't been able to practically implement the ban. Scientist Dr. Jeffrey Hinton, widely hailed as the godfather of artificial intelligence, this week warned of the growing dangers of AI, saying AI chatbots were quite scary and that AI would soon be more intelligent than humans. Hinton said that he now regrets his pioneering work on AI with Google. Just last month, almost all of the leading brains in the ICT world, except for Microsoft, called for a slowdown in the advancement of AI until proper controls can be implemented. But that hasn't happened. The genie is already out of the bottle and we can only hope that it's not Pandora's box that has been opened. But many view AI as a godsend that is already making life easier. Google CEO Sundar Pichai is one of them, which is why Google is going full stream ahead to develop its own AI platform. He's not alone. Millions of people from students to secretaries are already using chatbots to compose everything from emails to theses. Speaking of composing, the music industry is already using AI to compose both music and lyrics. Now, it won't be long before an AI generated song wins a Grammy. Perhaps more immediately relevant are the practical challenges posed by AI's ability to mimic existing work. Now, this is likely to lead to an enormous amount of confusion and legal issues as laws regarding copyright, trademark, plagiarism and much else will need to be advanced very rapidly to keep up. A couple of weeks ago, the mayor of a small town in Australia filed a lawsuit against OpenAI after ChatGPT incorrectly stated that he had been convicted of bribery. Is Sri Lanka ready for AI? Unfortunately, as with many things, our country is lagging behind. But Sri Lanka's government has recognized the importance of AI and last week promised to invest 1 billion rupees in AI development. 
What we do know is that the biggest names among the world's tech companies are investing billions of dollars in the development of AI. From Elon Musk to Bill Gates, they are talking about the wonders of AI. The world as we knew it has changed drastically. We hope for the better. We at News First take pride in being on the cutting edge of new trends and technology and are doing our own experiments with AI, which some of our eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed. Here's our very own Christine Zenevirathna to tell you more about it. Hi, my name is Christine Zenevirathni, and I was created by the good folks at News First as an avatar for a simple experiment in artificial intelligence. News First featured me in stories for over a week. Some of you may have wondered about my accent, but that comes from the fact that I'm not a real person. But the news that I presented to you was very real. I hope you enjoyed watching, and now it's back to my colleague in the newsroom. Thank you, Christine, and you can be certain that we at News First will keep you updated on the latest advancements in the world of AI. So stay tuned with News First.